Steve Givens from U.S. Night Vision Corporation. We're at the 2011 SHOT Show in the law enforcement section. Today we want to showcase some of the new emerging uh, thermo technology. In this particular case, uh, FLIR. Uh, of course, FLIR has been manufacturing very large and expensive uh, thermal systems for uh, uh, the U.S. military, uh, for uh, tanks, uh, aircraft, ocean-going vessels, and so on. But in the last couple of years, they began to develop a line of small handheld and weapon-mountable uh, uh, thermal units for law enforcement and ground applications for the U.S. military. Um, First shit I want to show you is the M24, um, and as you can see, uh, these folks at FLIR, you know, are right on top of the design trends. This is uh, the uh, PVS-14 night vision monocular, and as you can see, they've duplicated the uh, rear eyepiece uh, assembly and also the hash marks, so you can tell where you're at as far as your adjustment on uh, uh, someone's particular eyesight. Uh, Basically the same, approximately the same size, a little bit shorter, but they've gotten you know a cost-effective piece of, uh, of thermal technology now down to the point where you can stick this unit in the back of a in the pocket of a 511 trouser. And being portable, it's much more likely that a law enforcement client is going to want to use it. In the old days when thermal was huge and heavy, oftentimes it stayed in the trunk, and no one's going to want to break out a three or four pound piece of thermal unless it's an absolute emergency. But with these small units, now you're really going to inspire even patrol officers who get a chance to use them. They're more apt to apply this kind of technology because it's convenient, it's lightweight, it's easy to use. So that's the FLIR M24. That is a 320 by 240 microbolometer processor, which is quite good. Second unit is now an upgrade. This is the M18, and this is uh, 640 by 480, so you're basically quadrupling the performance. Again, you're about the size, roughly, of a PBS-14, and again, you got digital zoom, white hot, black hot, you have all kinds of uh, features here that will you know, be consistent with uh, modern search and rescue, uh, law enforcement, and surveillance applications. Then the final unit, which is for folks who are surveilling large areas, large tracts of land, three, four thousand yards. This is the new FLIR Biocular. This is the H series that appeared last year. And this is a dual eyepiece binocular system that um, companies large tracts of land, Department of Energy, nuke plants, uh, border patrol surveillance, those types of operations uh, can benefit uh, from uh, a real high performance thermal. It's all weather, uh, floats, uh, rubber armored, and uh, surprisingly lightweight. Although it looks bulky, you can stick this in a backpack and uh, go on a hike and you hardly even know it's there. It's quite lightweight and durable.